What's going on everyone? My name is Kurt and welcome to the show. Thank you for tuning in this week. On this episode, we are gonna talk about personality parts. For me, there's a lot of things going on in my mind. And I'm sure there are for you as well. And on this episode, we're really gonna talk about how to deal with multiple personalities. What are personality parts and what exactly can we do about them? So personality parts, this topic first came up back when Freud was kind of doing a psychoanalysis. In fact, probably even before Freud, I'm sure there were some people out in the therapy world, in the uh, psychiatrist world that were actually looking at individuals and sort of applying the concepts of multiple personalities. We have come a long way in terms of modern sort of therapy and psychoanalysis and psychiatry. And by the way, this is all for informational purposes. If you need a therapist or something like that, by all means, I am not necessarily qualified to give you the best advice, but I'm gonna give you my perspective on what I've learned in terms of dealing with multiple personalities, what it's like. I have actually schizophrenia in my family. My grandmother, uh, God rest her soul, she just passed. She uh, was a schizophrenic uh, for, diagnosed for almost 40 years, 45 years. and. So that's kind of an extreme, and it's not necessarily multiple personality, but mental health is certainly something that's big on the radar for a lot of people. So what are personality parts? Well, they can be a bunch of things. For, for me, I like to define them and think about them in the simplest terms. And I really studied most of what I'm talking about in today's video on uh, this topic basically from internal family systems, IFS. It's a mindful-based therapy, like most of my, my work that I work on is mindful-based, but this type of therapy actually works to make you sort of as an unbiased observer to the different parts of your personality that want different things. So say, for example, you're out with your friends on a Friday night. You're having a drink, you're having dinner, uh, one of your buddies wants to go to another bar, another person wants to go to another bar, and so you end up going with the group to this bar. And what happens is, as the night goes on, another part of you that, there's, there's, there's multiple parts of you. There's a part of you that's like, yeah, this is fun, let's go hang out with the social crowd, let's go roll with the punches, let's, let's do what's going on. And then there's another part of you that comes into the picture, and this part of your personality is the one that's like, responsible Kurt, what are you doing? It's almost 10 o'clock, it's time to get to bed, time to get home, time to wind down, get into your sleep routine. You know how important sleep is, blah, 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 blah. While this other part of your personality might be going, hey, but it's so fun, you never get out, it's Friday night, that's when people are social. And this doesn't have to be super extreme in your personality, but for a lot of people it can be, especially in times of more stress. What you find is that people will split, their personalities will end up splitting more and they'll have more conflict in what's going on, especially under higher stress. And I think as entrepreneurs, we tend to be uh, given more stressful decision-making type things. So not only are we dealing with more stress, we have less relief from it, and we also have more decisions to make. And so we're kind of constantly dealing with different parts of our personality that are uh, in conflict sometimes with each other. They're, they're wanting one thing and the other thing. And so the, the going out example is just a basic example to kind of highlight what it's like to go out and have those personalities. Another thing that we like to do is, uh, another prime example would be, say you are making a decision on where to move for me going to Austin. There are parts of me that have very strong desires to be in Austin. There are parts of me that have very strong desires to stay in Seattle. And those parts are definitely parts that are gonna have some conflict. Being in Seattle and being in Austin are not the same thing. The personality that wants to do that and wants to do this are gonna be different. And so really what it comes down to is, is the parts of your personality are what make you up and they're what give you sort of these different desires for different things, whether it's having fun, being successful in business, 
being healthy, enjoying delicious food, and they look out for you. And what you want to do is become aware of them. Like I said with anything in business or life, I think the first step is to become aware, to know where you're at, and the next step is to find your target. Once you know where you're at and where your target is, you can start to go down the path of where you need to get to. And that's the same thing here with your parts. In your personality, whether or not you agree with me or not, you can look this up, kind of do your own research. I strongly feel as though there are different parts in my personality and there's a lot of support out there to support that concept. So if you go with that as a model for how you view the world and how you operate, then what you're gonna find is that you're gonna have to find ways to sort of help these parts interact. Most people don't, they go through life and they have methods of avoidance. So they have a problem and they avoid it. They go drinking, they go social. Maybe they have a sex habit. Maybe they have another addiction. They have an animal. There's a lot of things that they can do to avoid what it is they're facing. But with this sort of approach with internal family systems, that's the main therapy that I studied that can help you learn how to manage and work with the parts you actually have the ability to really go in there and basically facilitate a dialogue. So what you do is you basically set aside time and you're gonna work with your parts. In my case, when I first started doing this, I had a lot of conflicts around what I was gonna do for my business, for my life. Because there was so much going on and I had so many different parts and so much conflict, I really spent some time. Like I probably did about two sessions a week of 45 minutes. You don't need to go that extreme if you don't want to, or maybe you need to go even more extreme. But the point is you want to set aside a time when you can sit down and get to a relaxed state where you're un, unjudging, you're, you're, un, you're unbiased, you're very non-judgmental, and you can just sit here and go, okay, we're gonna work on the issue of where I'm going to move. This part of me says I should stay here. I'm gonna call this part George. This part of me says I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call this guy Jasper. So George, let's hear what you have to say. What are your concerns? What are your thoughts? And you can talk out loud. Again, this is something you can do for yourself that's very effective on your own. You can talk out loud. You can talk in your, um, in your journal. You can write down things. You can also shoot a, a, a recording if you want as well. You can do it however you want. The point is you wanna get a record, get some sort of way to hear out the part, hear out what they wanna say, and allow them to speak. And then once they've spoken, you've been able to document and kind of hear out their concerns, what their thinking is, what they really wanna focus on, you can go to the other part. You can hear their parts. And while you're listening to this, you're sort of allowing them the time, the space, the ability to sort of share their concerns, their thoughts. This is not something where you're forcing them to do it, I know this sounds weird, just, just roll with me on this, trust me, it, it's very valuable. And you're just getting their feedback. And then what you're doing is as a facilitator, you can kind of think of yourself as this conductor between these two parts where it's like, look, you guys both want the best thing for me, but we obviously have some differences here we have to resolve. What can we do? And that's where you throw in your IFS techniques. You basically are going to use your ability to facilitate these two parts to get them to have a conversation and be more productive. And so on this video, really what I want you to think about is what parts do I have that are kind of pulling me apart that are really in conflict right now and what could I do to sort of help facilitate that? Then identify these parts and set up a session. Even if it's just five minutes, try that. I am almost gonna guarantee you that you're gonna see relief, you're gonna see more clarity, and you're gonna feel much better about the way things are going if you practice and make this a habit. It's something I've done now for probably about six months, and I've used it in very difficult decisions and also in more easy decisions. <laughs> gives you a way to sort of open up and allow yourself to kind of build a connection in your personality because you have these different 
parts of yourself that want different things. And when you can have them feel like they actually, and you can feel like they're actually in a conversation, in a dialogue, that's so much more powerful than when they're actually just gonna do this, gonna do that, kind of a third world drug lord, if you will, who's just brute forcing their way. And so I invite you to kind of read up on the post, think about this. If you really wanna study more, there's a lot of writing about internal family systems. I linked in the post to their whole self-leadership website. You can go there. It's kind of technical and the therapy actually was created out of trauma, so you don't really need it. You just need the basic idea of the fact that you have parts in your personality, that you can have a dialogue with them, that you need to be the unbiased, non-judgmental observer that is mindfully allowing them to share what they want and need and, and don't want and you can facilitate that, that dialogue between the parts. What you're gonna find is through those conversations, you're gonna get resolution. You're gonna get more clarity. You're gonna know where to go. So until next time, thanks for watching and keep crushing.